What's up? Alright, we're back. I believe this is probably going to be part three. Uh, I'll show you in a short clip right after, in a couple seconds here after I, I tell you what I found. But I took all the parts out and uh, washed them all up, got them all clean, and uh, laid them all out. And I'll, and I'll show you that in a second. But I want to show you what I found when I was drying them off. Uh, this sprue right here. I found uh, looks like probably about four parts. This one here, this one here, and these two. So these four center parts, they're a little warped. I think what they did is when they took this out of the mold and they laid it down, they kind of sagged. Uh, I don't think it's going to show up very well. Probably not at all. But they kind of got a little bow in them. Now, one good thing is they go into onto a flat section, except for these two. These these two here form up uh, the underside of the center center section. And <clears throat> those are pretty important. Uh, it's going to give this model some stability. And they're not warped that bad, but they are warped. So I'm going to have to be real careful with that. And uh, the other two, let's see, they go on the bottom. Those two right there, they go on the bottom of the back section. Number 36 and 41. Now this is the uh, the bottom of the rear section, and they go down on here. So that's it's a pretty flat area. I, I believe you know I get them glued up and put some clamps on them. Uh, it ought to straighten them out. But I did find four parts that were warped, and that's just the uh, <clears throat> a quick going over of it. I haven't looked at anything else real good. So let me show you that little section of where I got them washed up and got them all laid out. And uh, I, I did kind of a rough count on this, and I, I count about 90 pieces. Remember I told you I couldn't find anywhere where it gave a piece count? So uh, I counted around 90 pieces. So let me break away here, show you this other part, and then we'll come back. All right, I just thought I'd show you is uh, what we're dealing with here just got done washing them washing all my parts and here they are up on the counter so that's what we got to deal with there we go let me do this from overhead Move it nice and slow. Back it out a little bit. Okay. Quite a few parts there. All right. Let me get them all dry it off and into the other room all right we're back again now last night I had a chance to go through the directions real good and uh, what I done was anywhere that I found something that I have to be careful with like that right there I highlighted it where there's a uh, where they have a note it tells you to be careful about something so I highlighted them parts now <clears throat> uh, before I go any further let me show you a little <laughs> something kind of cute that they did uh, inside this hanger bay let me get two of them here inside the hanger bay uh, let me see how it goes together. Not like that, like that. Alright. 
the uh, I believe this is the front section is open and there's not a lot there to see into it but what they give you and this is kind of cute is if you want to look back in there on the side of the box right there they give you these little I, I don't know what you want to call it but you're supposed to cut them out of the side of the box okay there's one on each side is that showing up there it is alright you're supposed to cut them out if you want to and set them back in here glue it up against these first two posts put it together so that if you look in there you can see inside the hanger bay okay and that's what those are <laughs> That's kind of unique. The only problem is I took a flashlight out there and put it behind it and, and you can get no light through it. It's, it's light blocked. You can get no light through it. So if you want to try and put a, a bulb in there to backlight it, it won't work because it won't pass through that cardboard. So uh, it's kind of a cute idea, but I don't know. Maybe if I, uh, if I can get a hold of that photo etch and put it in here and find some way to light it up from the side, then it might work. Now, here's a problem, another problem I found. Well, let me, before I get there, let me show you what they want you to do here with the directions. Okay. Basically, what you're going to be doing is building... Uh, I think it's about five, five sub-assemblies, okay? Here's how they got it set up. You start out building this nose section first, then the center section, the hull, and then the engine section. So there's three sub-assemblies. Then you got to do all this down here on the bottom of this, and this is a sub-assembly and this is a sub-assembly so you, I count about at least five sub-assemblies you got and then you then you put it together one thing I'm worried about is here's the center or the the nose section and this is pretty much all you got joining them two sections together so to keep this ship from from doing this on the on the front end and the back end from over time settling I'm gonna have to really get this together good and I'll probably use epoxy on this because I don't want this thing sitting on a stand and a year or two from now you see that it's it's flexing I thought about <clears throat> and I haven't even got that far yet but I thought about running a rod all the way through the whole thing to give it support. We'll have to see if I got room to do that or not. And here's another thing. By doing that in these sub-assemblies like this, okay, that means that each one of these is going to have to be lit up separately. So I'll have to do lighting on this section, lighting on this center section, lighting on the rear section, lighting if I do the two uh, shuttle bays, and then I'll have to bring that all together and down through that tube. So that's going to create a little challenge. And not only that, but I'll have to drill holes somewhere in order to run that wire th through from this end and then from the rear end to the center. So I'm going to be having to drill some holes somewhere to feed my wire through. Now here's another problem. I kinda got this together just about where it should be. Okay? And then this part here goes on like this. Let me make sure I got the right one here. Oh, that's the wrong one. That goes in there like that okay to fill in that that gap alright now 
there's some spots down here I believe get little windows in it and they're going to have to have some light to them and what's going to happen is this piece of plastic here is going to be in the way I believe so I'm going to have to do some grinding and cutting to wherever the windows are I'm going to have to open it up behind it to make sure I can get light in there to pass through to them windows so and I also noticed up here where the bridge goes there's two little holes up there okay where that bridge sits down in there in them holes I'm gonna have to open that all up and I'll probably have to cut the little pegs off of the bridge and then glue that down on there nice and neat and uh, so I can get light to pass up through there to all them little windows that are going to go on the front of that bridge so I'm going to have to get light up there so all this is going to have to be removed but as you can see I, I really haven't done anything yet I'm just uh, getting a plan getting a plan man gotta have a plan but that's what I'm going to have to do I'm going to have to do this in sub assemblies and they have you starting with this uh, nose piece first now here's something that cracks me up with these model makers, okay? You're going to start with this section first. And you've got parts that, uh, these two little parts here that go on either side. you got the uh, bridge goes on. And you've got parts that go in here. I think there's one, two, three, about four parts that make up this, okay? Now here's what cracks me up. All right, this is number one and two, but then you jump up to parts like for this right here, 54, 55, 56, you know, I'm thinking, what, why don't they just follow along in the part numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on, but uh, I don't build them, I don't, I just build them, I don't um, make them, so but I thought that was a little funny you know you start with this here first but you're up to parts number 51 through about 56 or something like that so I just thought I'd throw that in there but everything you know just where I've been messing around with it a little bit seems to snap together pretty good I mean if it's anything like I said before like that tumbler the parts just fit together Morbius was uh, pretty good with that on that tumbler and that that was a pretty difficult little build because if you didn't have one part in, in the right place the next two or three parts wouldn't line up in their place so and I'm a little worried about this one this one piece here these two pieces that come together that I said were warped number 27 and 28 uh, this is going to be a very critical section of the ship because this is what's going to give a lot of support to them shuttle bays they're going to hang off of these and I uh, have to make sure I get them nice and straight and put together right okay but everything's been cleaned up now it's just a matter of going through and, and getting them off the sprues I don't know exactly when and where I'll paint it I'll probably have to wait till I get it all together instead of painting it they, they're kinda like paint this section then go on to the next section and paint it well let me tell you something that's a bad idea because a little slight change in humidity outside or anything can throw your colors off so if you paint this section three four days a week later you paint the, the engine section you could same paint you could wind up with two different shades so I'm probably gonna have to wait till I get it all together before I paint anything I think that's the way to go all right I think that's it for this one can't think of anything else 
just wanted to let you know where I was at, what I found, and uh, what little problems I'm going to run into with this lighting. This lighting is going to be a treat because uh, there's a big piece here that fills up this section back here and another piece comes off down here so somewhere I'm going to have to drill some holes I do believe to run that wiring through so I can get all the wiring through to the center section uh, like I said if you compare this to that uh, monogram model that there was that thing was kind of laid out pretty nice where you had the whole bottom half and you could do all your wiring get all your lighting in there and then just put it together this is going to have to be wired in each individual section okay that's enough see you on the next part okay hold on hold on let me turn the camera around here so we can see what we're doing alright Mr. Hands made a mistake in showing you something. Uh, it was in regards to this here. Remember I told you about these two little things on the box, on the side of the box? Okay. I was showing you where they went inside and it was on the wrong end. I was showing you, this is the front of it and I was showing you putting that part in up here that little piece of cardboard and I was talking about the photo etch being in here it's not that is on the rear that little piece of cardboard uh oh uh oh there you go goes back here on the back section of these uh, shuttle bays uh, and then that, I believe that photo etch is, is going to go back here. So I've been talking about that photo etch and that little piece of cardboard and showing you the wrong place where it goes. So I made a mistake. Like I said, I haven't really got into this that much yet, but I just happened to be looking and thinking, boy, you can't see nothing in there. Why would they do that? And then I realized it was back here where you can see inside. All right. Mr. Hands made a mistake. That's it for this one for sure. If I find anything else, I'll let you know.